we were in on the day 90 of cold showers. And also cold plunge. I don't even know how it feels to take a hot shower. In the start you don't really want to do it. But in the end the feeling is the best. Whew. And now I'm ready for the day. Better than Red Bull and a coffee. Right now I am in the first week of monk mode and if you don't know what the hell is monk mode check out this video and big part for me is also cold shower every single morning so I have decided to bring you my view on cold shower for 90 days. One of the biggest supporters of cold is Wim Hof. He has scientifically based studies that cold showers or cold plunges are actually really good for our physical and mental health. And when you combine it with his breathing techniques, it has even better effects. On Wim Hof's channel I found an interesting video where he got this question. When is the last time you had a cold? In short, he answered that he doesn't even remember, because he goes to the cold. When you go to the cold, the cold doesn't go to you. To prevent from the cold and other illnesses, go to the cold rather than cold coming to you. And I can more than relate. In last year I didn't have any flu or cold or anything like that. I'm not even vaccinated and I didn't have Covid once. And there were many opportunities. For example my whole family was home with Covid but not me. Apparently, the weather is not working today. <sighs> okay, I guess it's working now. <sighs> no problem. First feelings in your head when you are preparing for the cold showers are Don't do it, it is uncomfortable, it will be cold, we don't want to do it. And this is exactly why you cannot listen. Because when you step outside of your comfort zone and jump into the cold, you have the first win of the day. You stretch your comfort zone which then moves you forward in goals, business, life and much more. It moves you forward as a person. If you are not pushing your comfort limits, you will be stagnant and standing on one place. The first few seconds are scary, but then the cold shower became even warm. It's weird, but you have to accept the cold, don't fight it and rather overcome it. I have found a really great TED talk where Joel Runion is talking exactly about that. I have looked into the mirror and said to myself, if you are not willing or able to be the type of person that is going to be uncomfortable for 5 minutes alone in the shower, where the only negative outcome is being called for 5 minutes and the only person affected by this decision is you then how you will ever have a strength or the courage to choose to be uncomfortable in a situation where the outcomes are much much greater and the people affected by your decisions far outnumbers just yourself for me doing this every day was also a challenge. I was doing cold showers before, but not that consistently. And I still prefer cold plunge when I have the opportunity. Even when you do it regularly for long periods, it is still really uncomfortable and it still expands your comfort zone. For example here is first ever Wim Hof experience with cold. The first time I went to cold, I have found out that I have to breathe deeply. It was the nature of the cold. My teacher who taught me, breathe deep. Then I took it into my awareness, breathe deep and you will be able to oppose the stress of a cold. And with that I learned how to deal with stress in general. Because in the end, stress, cold, heat, bacterial, mental, it is also cell biological stress. I have to say, the music is really helping. When you are starting out, I would suggest you to breathe deeply as Wim says, but rather accept the cold and go calmly into the water or shower. Don't panic, don't fight against the cold, don't flex your muscles. 
This is typical what our body and mind would do, because we don't want to be uncomfortable naturally. But rather calm down, relax, relax your muscles, breathe deep and you will see it will go much easier. For example my mom, first time she went to cold water in the winter, she was stressing out and panicking and yes, breathing deeply, but flexing the muscles and be inside and not relaxed and that caused she had to leave in just 20 seconds. The next day I said to her this what I am telling you now and she was completely fine even after two minutes in the cold water. So here is the last day as mentioned in the intro and that is definitely not the end of my cold plunges and cold showers. It is winter time so I will be doing a lot of cold plunges as much as I can. I just can't help myself. I love it. It is zero degrees outside, you are in the water for 5, 6, 7, 8 minutes and you can be outside just in swimsuit and it feels like it is 25 degrees outside. It's crazy how it really works. I won't probably be doing cold showers every morning now, but I will get back to it, maybe, soon. Cold showers in the morning are really great to start your day off. You get dopamine heat, increase your energy levels, and you are ready for the day. You can exchange it for coffee even, even though I don't drink coffee to be honest. But I have learned that this is not only about the health and the cold and good start of the day. You are training yourself for more uncomfortable situations in your life, expanding and stretching your comfort zone, and you will be better prepared for stressing situations and deal with stress better. If you have enjoyed this video, here are some similar videos, if you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button, like would be appreciated, and thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh my god, finally, after three months of cold showers, cold showers.